first machine that man ever made that was fully capable of supporting him, yet um, not any heavier than he was. I got the idea for building it when I was about maybe uh, 10 years old or so. From looking at a bunch of pictures of, in an old set of encyclopedias that my grandfather gave me, Compton's Picture Encyclopedia. There really were no plans, so it was just a sort of um, good guess. glider weighs about 33 pounds or so and has an 18 foot wingspan the wings are four feet wide spaced about four feet apart um, total construction time took about oh, a week and a half or so and with the aluminum tubing it cost about uh, oh, about $40 on the first several flights and panic and either let go or uh, just sort of sink back on your elbows. Well, I didn't get off the ground because nobody was holding the tail. Uh, it was balanced too far back. You can't really run fast enough to make the tail pick itself up unless there's a really stiff wind blowing. When you're first learning to fly it, it's quite helpful to have somebody on the wings. Each wing, if, if possible, so that it's easier to balance. Flags are causing too much wind resistance. If we remove the American flags, we'll probably get more control and get a better flight. Uh, in order to get a, a long, straight, level flight, uh, it's helpful to have very smooth wind flowing up the hill. In order to guarantee that, you want to have uh, smooth wind at the bottom and then of course you can feel the wind up at the top. 
But once you know the smooth wind at the bottom, you know that it's going to be up to the top several seconds later. And you can be ready for it. So you can be ready to spring uh, several seconds in advance by knowing what the wind is doing down the bottom of the hill. A person's only problem in learning to fly a hang glider is uh, lack of confidence. Lack of confidence causes a person not to apply tension in his elbows and wrists. And he tends to sink back on his elbows and the, and the glider stalls or doesn't get off the ground at all. So the, uh, the only thing that it takes to learn how to fly it is uh, uh, a decent supply of self-confidence. Uh, the reason you don't get off the ground is usually because you thought the wind was stronger than it was. You, you're looking for a wind that will just barely get you off the ground and no stronger. Because the stronger the wind is, the less your gliding ratio is and the less you'll go down the hill. What you want is a wind just strong enough so that you can run yourself into the air and when you run yourself into the air you um, can glide a long ways if the wind is uh, just barely enough to get you into the air. Let's make one last try and for luck we'll put the American flags back on. tremendous thrill that occurs about one and a half seconds after your feet leave the ground and it uh, seems like an addictive thrill it, it just it uh, keeps you 